Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I do have another uh, project to share with you today. It's an explosion box mini album. It's using the Bow Bunny Somewhere in Time paper collection. I really love this collection. It was a lot of rich colors, blues and golds, really turquoise, really, really pretty. And very vintage, and I like the vintage feel. Um, so this album will be available in my Etsy shop and you can also see it on my website. I'll link both of those uh, in the description box below. And uh, if you have any comments, please uh, feel free to comment. I love hearing them and I try to answer everyone. I'm not sure if you can see my cat in the frame here. He's coming to say hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe for more to come and have a great day. Thanks. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, the cover, I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see. Uh, I've got some gears and some um, paper flowers. I'm going to have to double check where those are from and put them in the description box. These are Tim Holtz um, metal corner pieces. And then the side. I've actually used one other piece of Bow Bunny paper that wasn't in the Somewhere in Time collection for part of the side. So that's the top. So we lift it up. Just want to make sure it's going to all be in frame. And it opens like that. Put the lid aside. Oh, the inside of the lid has a, a little place for some journaling. You can make a title for the album. And then inside. So I've made this extra little box. So you can put a little present or something in there. And then you untie the ribbon. And it opens out like that. So you've got space. You can put pictures on all the square parts. I saw that. That was a YouTube tutorial. I'll have to try and find the link for that. And it folds up nice and easily. Tie that back up. And we'll set that aside. All right, so into the album. So I've made it so that the top and bottom and both sides are symmetrical. So got the paper on the front, it's a magnet closure and they both open like that and then they both open to the side and to the side again and then, oh I haven't done this one up but this one has a little booklet inside if I can and then uh, both have a little pocket. This one's a little booklet there. And then again up here, a couple tags. And then it opens up again and again. And then this one also has a, it's the same thing as on this side, a little booklet. This opens up for a little bit of journaling. Okay, so at the top we have a magnetized waterfall. At the bottom is a swing tab that lifts up. We've got some tags in the pocket. And then this whole thing lifts up to display this beautiful corset. And then I left this open so you could stuff a picture up in there. So 
That's that part. And then the sides. So they both have a magnetized little journaling card on the front. <clears throat> they both flip down. I've done some uh, paper piecing and some embossing. I used an embossing folder, uh, a gears embossing folder. Both open to the side and then open to the side again. And then they both go all the way out and then both of these lift up. So I tried to make it as symmetrical. I was really into the symmetry of this of this book. So uh, I tried to make it so that when the whole thing was open, it really still coordinated quite well. So I'll do it like that. And that's it. And then it all goes back up together. So I hope you enjoyed this boxed explosion mini album and subscribe for more like it. Put the lid back on. And there we go. Bye.